One of the biggest mistakes you can make while pitching your startup to anyone is saying that you have no competition. You'd have heard of cheeky LinkedIn posts and tweets saying that the competition for Maruti Suzuki is not Honda, but it's Uber. And the competition for Netflix is not Prime, but it's Sleep. While of course all of this may be true at some degree, you really don't need to make those kind of connections. Quite honestly, your idea in all probability is not so unique that no one in the world has started working on it already. There's a possibility that someone may not have set up a website yet, but definitely someone could be doing it in the offline mode if you're doing it in the online mode. So please do your research and find out at least four top competitors and their data. Why? Because you need to build a competitors and a competition slide in your pitch deck. Now, how do you go about structuring that slide? Remember, it has to be made in the form of a table, a grid and nothing else. Don't go by X, Y axes and trying and plotting them on price and benefits and whatnot. None of that works. Make a table and a grid format. Columns are attributed to um, your competitor. So the first column will be your product and your startup. The remaining three or four, however many you want to put in that table and ideally not more than four other competitors um, would be in preferential order from your strongest competitor placed immediately after you and in a descending order of preference. Now coming to the rows, the rows define not the features of your product, but the benefits. Now, if we were to take the Netflix and sleep analogy, you know, there's no way you can argue with the benefits of sleep really, but look at benefits and not features because there's a possibility that everyone in this current competitor landscape may be possibly looking at pivoting to different features at different stages during their journeys. Benefits relating to how fast your product is, um, the, the, the distribution channel, the pricing, Look at metrics and benefits which are quantifiable, stay away from only qualitative features or benefits to mention. So you should definitely have some kind of data to show a comparison why you're saying quantifiably your benefits are better than that of the competition. Now your column would essentially have all benefits mentioned and quantified because those are your benefits and that's how you start in order of preference of the benefit. So your highest value proposition is in the top row. And then again, you go in a descending order in order of preference. Please do not put crosses or not applicable um, in, in cells where you think certain benefits do not apply to your competitors. Leave them blank. This actually shows how your benefits, the entire list of benefits are covered in, in your particular um, product idea. However, all of the competition are missing a few of those benefits. And of course, if you're asked to quantify them, you can. This is the best way to structure your competition slide. It, it mentions all your competition. It maps them across benefits and how it compares to you. You do not need to spend any more time on competitive landscape at this stage. Share it with a startup founder you know.